All right, guys, I want to move on to Chris Paul because it's his 35th birthday today. Happy birthday, CP, the 15-year vet, still obviously going strong. Before the season was halted, Chris earned his 10th all-star nod. He was leading the league, guys, in clutch time scoring. Impressively had the Thunder tied for the fifth spot out west. Now, CP3, as we may have noted once, twice, 106 times, owed some big money in the next few seasons. There is a feeling that if he wanted to get to a title contending team, he might even have to agree to waive that $44 million player option in the final year. But, I mean, Shanae, one, it's $44 million. <laughs> And two, given how well things have gone in OKC this season, should he actually want to stay with the Thunder even if they're not really a title favorite? Yo, waving 44 mil, that takes a really, really great human being to do that because I know you want championships, but at the same time, like that generational wealth is just different. But this is a win-win situation when it comes to Chris Paul because he put the Thunder in a position, like they're overachievers, you know, right now being number five in the West. And then also personally for him, if you think about it, the way he left the Houston Rockets, he's found a way to revive his career. So the only way I see him leaving is if he really, really wants that championship and it has to be a championship contender. I, I, honestly, I, I don't don't waive that forty million at the end of your career. That's silly. That's silly to talk about. Bill Gates would not waive forty million dollars. Warren Buffett would not waive forty million dollars to go win something. Now I understand it's athletes. We've kind of given that that respect, but I look at what he could do later in his career, more like Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd was a dominant, dominant player, and then he went to. Uh, he went to Dallas as more of a ball control guy. He wasn't the triple-double every night like he was, but he was still a great, great point guard. So I think when this contract is up, Chris Paul could probably have one or two more years as a starting point guard for a championship team at a level uh, that, that the pay probably matches his play a little bit better. I mean, look, when you're talking about a title contending team, if we're really honest – that's only one or two, maybe three teams in the entire NBA. And even then, as we saw in his first year with the Rockets paired with James Harden, it is so hard to get over that hump when there is another dominant team in the league. For them, of course, it was the Warriors. Maybe in the next couple of years, it's going to be the Bucks. I, I don't know if you risk at all, certainly that $44 million, <laughs> to maybe possibly go beat and win that, hold up that Don't title. Do I think, yes, give for me sure. 40 million. You wait he can give you can me 40 David million West and I will give him my championship ring. Yep. <laughs> I will give him my championship ring if he gives me 40 million. All right, CP, <laughs> did you hear that? You got an offer up there on the table. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.